Hey friends, Jordan here. I don't have long, but I just got back from Sam's Club and I just did a huge haul needing to restock our lunch and snack system because they're pretty empty and my kids are pretty grumpy about it. So I thought I would take you along to show you how I organize my lunch and snack system, how it works, and some of the things that I bought. Basically, do you wanna do a restock with me? Let's do it. First things first, I have a very unique system for school lunches and snacks. I've already done a video about this. I've done a couple videos about this actually, so I will link those so that if you don't exactly know what I'm talking about, then you can go back and watch those. But my kids pack their own lunches. They do hot lunch two days per week. They get to choose what two days those are and then they do a home lunch the other three days per week and this here is only part of their lunch these are obviously the shelf stable items they also pack a fresh fruit or cheese from our fridge and then a sandwich as well so we try to do a pretty good blend of things this here what I'm restocking is just kind of the junky stuff like the pantry stuff so just know that this isn't only what they eat for lunch though they'd love to yeah it's been a minute and since my kids pack their own lunches it has become very disorganized especially down here, so I've got my work cut out for me. Let's get to it. First step is down here is our lunch and snack system. It looks like it's gotten just a little bit disorganized. I see a few things that don't belong in the bins, so I'm going to go through these first, clear out anything that I know my kids just absolutely are not eating, anything that's old, opened, or needs to be discarded, put things where they go, and then I'll work on unboxing and restocking the new stuff that I bought. Is this fun? I don't know, maybe. Let's have some fun, and it feels good. We'll go with that. Okay, so I cleaned these out a bit and now I'm going to restock. Like I said, be sure to go watch that snack video below. It'll explain it better. But in short, I have labels here that give my kids guidelines for the lunches they pack. So for example, over here, we've got our fruit bin and these are little fruits or fruit leathers, applesauce pouches, raisins, dried fruits, things like that. This bin is labeled take one and then it also says and take one fresh fruit. So they come through with their bag. This first bin is for drinks, but I need to refill it. So they take one drink, they take a pantry fruit, and then they take a fresh fruit. And then over here, they can take one of a snacky item, which is like, we've got granola bars, chips, crackers, goldfish crackers, all that kind of stuff. For my bigger kids, they can take two of those things. And it's usually, they take one thing from this bin, which is more like granola bars, trail mix, protein bars. And then they can take one from the chip and cracker bin. And then at the end are the treats and they can take one treat. And yes, for us, fruit snacks are treats because they are Rice Krispie treats, little mini Oreos. We'll throw leftover Halloween candy in here so they can take one, but they get one treat, one drink, one pantry fruit, one fresh fruit, one granola bar or nuts, one cracker or chips, one treat, and then a sandwich, of course. So now, time to restock. So for example, these pistachios, some of my kids love pistachios. I tried to buy the big bags because, little known fact, and I've talked about this before, if you buy the big bags, of food and divide them into Ziplocs yourself, it is so much more affordable. But the big bags were out when I went. This is all they had and I wasn't gonna go back to the store, so I paid a little more this time and I'm really annoyed by it, but it's fine. Saves me some time, I guess. So these are going to go in the bin along with the nuts, trail mix, and granola bars. Done! Cheese it. These, again, I caved this time and bought the individual bags. And these are going to go in the cracker and chip bin. We also have a few little lingering bags of these muffins. I don't know where they came from, maybe. Even little things like this, I would consider these to go in like a chip bin. So I'm gonna put those in there. This is a big box and the entire box won't fit in here because I want a variety of things. So I'll show you afterwards because I need to organize down below, but I have that as kind of an overflow area where I do keep the overflow bulky items so that I can rotate in as I go. So this will go down to overflow. Okay, that's about as full as it can go. I do need to add some more water bottles and things to the drink section, but what I'm going to move on to now is taking some of the bulk packages because again, I've taught in previous videos that 
that if you can buy bulk packages of items and portion them off yourself, you'll save so much money versus buying pre-packaged items. So you can see I kind of do a blend here of both, but I'm going to take my bulk items that I do have and go divide them up into smaller Ziplocs and then put them in here so the kids can grab and go quicker in the morning without having to divide them up themselves. So let's move over and go do that. Okay, and then the last step is I'm just going to clean up our overflow area, consolidate the boxes, and be done with this. I guess I'm not quite done because I still have all these cardboard boxes to break down, but almost done. Let's do it. So it's not pretty, but these big boxes of chips or veggie straws, I actually will just open, I'll rip off the top, and then just leave them down here so they can serve themselves straight from the box. I'm sure there are prettier baskets or whatever that I can use, but I ain't got time for that. The kids are home, it's late now, and I need to wrap this up. So I'm just gonna end this video and show you that I am done. Is it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? No, not necessarily, but it absolutely works. And it has been a system that has worked so well for our family for a long time. The only last thing I need to do is batch make a bunch of sandwiches. We make a whole load of peanut butter and jelly and meat and cheese sandwiches for the week, leave them in the fridge or freezer, and it makes packing lunches a snap. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.